year has come to a close, and once again, Moto USA looks back at the best of 2013. It was a great year to get dirty, and here are the highlights of our off-road rides. Following the tide of the adventure bike class, the KTM's forthcoming adventure bikes bump displacement and transform into sportier road machines to compete with the blistering Ducati Multistrada and ramped up BMW GS. But the stalwart 990 Adventure has always been the most capable of the big trailies in the dirt. Moto USA got to better appreciate the 990 Adventure as Alt Riders 2013 Taste of Dakar event, where it charged up dunes and wove through single track. It also ate up asphalt as needed. As the AT segment continues to get more and more street biased, we select our outgoing 990 as best adventure bike of 2013 for always delivering out in the dirt. Winner of Moto USA's 250 Dual Sport Shootout, the Yamaha WR250R continues to set the performance benchmark in the quarter liter segment. But this Yamaha isn't an ideal bike for the freeway, but it's the dual sport that knows how to get dirty and the WR holds its own on the street getting there. There were more than a few enduro bikes that we enjoyed this year, but naming the Berg best enduro for 2013 was a slam dunk. Two strokes may be a dying breed, but the enduro class has a few holdouts, and the Husaberg TE250 bowled us over with its lightweight and up-spec WP suspension components. In the desert and backwoods, Husaberg keeps the two-stroke fire smoking. For the second year in a row, Kawasaki earns best motocross motorcycle. But this year, it's not the big bore KX450F, but the lights class shredding KX250F that gets the nod. The 2013 Kawasaki KX250F claimed top honors in the 2013 250 motocross shootout thanks to improved power, handling, and sporty character. A winning recipe for motocross motorcycle of the year for 2013. Sport ATVs have taken a backseat to UTV and side-by-sides in the quad world. At least it certainly seems that way. But Yamaha proved that it still caters to the refined tastes of dune mullets everywhere with its revamped Raptor 700R SE. The Raptor's massive single delivers rip snorting torque, but the new front end offers improved performance. The Sport ATV segment ain't dead, not by a long shot. Everyone is second fiddle to Polaris in the UTV market, but Can-Am landed a solid counterblow with its Maverick 1000RX. The new Can-Am's performance lives up to its go-fast good looks. Even Polaris Razor fans should be happy to see the new Maverick, and it's sure to keep the engineers in Medina from resting on their laurels. Polaris Industries has enjoyed unprecedented success in recent years. And by all accounts, 2013 will be another banner year. Sales, revenue, and profits are all at record levels. Fueled by its continued dominance of the domestic UTV market, as well as strong growth internationally. Polaris also delivered big with its much-anticipated 2014 Indian lineup. Indian reboots have consistently failed, but now backed by Polaris's engineering clout, the historic brand is poised for legit revival. Polaris continues to wheel and deal, collaborating with Bobcat on its Brutus work vehicles, and military-grade non-pneumatic tires slated for ATV production. Simply put, Polaris is firing on all cylinders and shows no signs of slowing down, making it an easy pick for 2013 Manufacturer of the Year. <laughs>